So it's a little known condition affecting some parent diabetes patients, so called insulin manipulation. It's where the patient artificially controls the intake of their insulin, a temporary solution that can lead to some serious long term health consequences. Dr. Samadhi, tell us more. A lot of people may not know something called diabolemia. It's a diabetic, this is a type 1 diabetic or juvenile diabetes. Your pancreas is not making any more insulin because of autoimmune. This is very different than type 2 disease, which is as a result of diet and getting overweight. So in this particular case, you absolutely need insulin and you need to inject yourself because the sugar that you get from your food is used as energy. In this particular case, we're talking about these uh, young ladies between the age of 19 to 40 that are diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. They don't take and they manipulate their insulin. Why do they do that? If you don't take your insulin, now the body cannot use sugar as energy and start using fat. These are kids that have eating disorders, they have a problem with their own images, and they don't take insulin so they can lose weight, which is quite dangerous. When you don't take your insulin, you start making ketone and ketoacidosis, something called diabetic ketoacidosis, which is very dangerous because you can go into kidney failure, your potassium can go up, you can have heart failure, and can lead to death. Parents who have children with type 1 diabetes, you need to monitor their insulin, whether they're taking it or not. This is a form of eating disorders, and you need an endocrine doctor, and you need a psychiatrist, because these two, diabetes and eating disorder, go against each other, they contra contra contradict each other. One is about what, watch what you're eating, watch your salt, watch your sugar, and the other one is we want you to take calories and gain weight. So this is a very complex and challenging problem. Mark, have you had patients like this? I mean, have you come across this in your practice? Absolutely. I, I work with one of the top diabetologists in New York for many years, but people out there need to know, we talk about diabetes on this show a lot. 30 million diabetics in the United States, only about one and a half million of them are what's called type 1 diabetes. That's what we're talking about today. Now, what's the difference? With type 1, your antibodies are attacking your pancreas, and you are not making enough insulin, period. So if we don't give you insulin and replace the insulin that you're lacking, you're going to end up with what David just mentioned, which is you start looking for other energy sources, you use ketones, you make acid, you go into a coma and end up in the hospital. Type 1 diabetics, and it's also known as juvenile onset, Eric, it starts as a child usually, sometimes adolescents, but usually a child gets this. These children, and if they have a problem where they're, where they're suddenly, ah, I don't want to take that insulin, it's a pain, I don't want to take that insulin, or they start binge eating, they're going to end up with a problem. Someone that is a type 1 diabetic, their pancreas is not working, they have to have insulin around the clock. If they're not covered by insulin, they're going to end up in the hospital. And they are very fatigued, they're very weak, and actually their breath smells like acetone, and that's all from ketoacidosis that can cause osteoporosis, but can lead to heart failure and death. It's a serious problem, and the parents need to be watched out. Absolutely. Don't well, use they must take insulin, they must take it as prescribed, and they must watch their diet very, very carefully. All diabetics must watch their diet, type 1 and type 2, especially type you 1. You don't want to right. not take your insulin and lose weight. Great advice, right. doctors. Thank you. Thank you.